DE Train. One of the original maps of Counter-Strike now sits in an odd predicament. Valve has not updated the map or brought it back into the competitive pool since 2021, making it the odd man out of the original CSGO maps which have all been included in CS2 since launch. Train is still one of the most beloved maps by the community, due to its close quarters battles at B-Site and long open fights at A. Train really excelled at being a jack of all trades map. There's been a lot of details that Valve has kept the same over the years with Train, but also quite a few differences that we'll look into today. In 1.6, the map looked different to how it is today. It was much more barren with more linear fighting. It still did have the verticality of the ladders on the train cars and the ladder from B Halls down to A Site, known as Pop Dog. But it looked much different due to the original map featuring plane textures derived from Half Life. As 1.6 was a Half Life mod, they did the best they could with the textures at their disposal. We're going to take a brief stop here on Condition Zero. Now, Condition Zero took train in the same direction of 1.6. I'm sure you can't even really tell the difference between the footage of 1.6 and Condition Zero here. But some small changes to the map and lighting were made. Nothing big and not many people have played this version of the map. Moving on to Counter-Strike Source. Counter-Strike Source is where we'll see the first major changes to train. With new and revamped textures and new models, it gave it a more lively atmosphere. It was less bleak warehouse and more sunshine and brightness. The train cars also saw major improvements in this version of the map. And the back halls area was partially converted into a shower room and break room. Additionally, instead of a plane flying overhead, those noises were replaced with train horns. You could also hear the sound of hissing steam in the long hall as you passed the boilers. The last major change was to B-Site, where they had lowered the roof to allow more visibility in order to counter oppers. Counter-Strike Global Offensive When originally added to Global Offensive, the map's layout and textures were largely inherited from the source version of the map with the majority of the changes being simple visual tweaks, along with some gameplay tweaks based on the testing and feedback of the community. The theme of the map was also changed from an American train station to that of a Russian one. Train was further updated on December 10th, 2014, drastically altering the map's visual style to inherit the new Russian train station look, as well as altering some of the gameplay tactics. Some notable changes to the map was moving Bombsite B from the enclosed tunnel, renaming it to Bombsite A, and putting it in the middle area while removing a tunnel. They added cover to the connector of T-Spawn and removed the cover near ladder. Furthermore, the only sniping position in the Bombsite is that opposite of the T-Spawn connector. Finally, to curb camping, brightness was increased and the train callers no longer allowed players to move underneath them. The back hall was increased in size to help players avoid oppers, and the ramp up to the back of Bombsite A was replaced with traditional ladders. The environment was more distinctly Russian or Soviet looking compared to the original train. The official factions of the map is SEAL Team 6 and the Balkans. The revived version's Bombsite A contains a derailed flatbed cargo car with two nuclear containers while Bombsite B contains a flatbed car with two boxed diesel engines. Moving on to Counter-Strike 2. Of course, we don't know if Train is coming to CS2 or not, but it is widely speculated that it is. A lot of people think that it could be the next map added when a new operation drops. Of course, this is all just speculation, and the footage you see now is of a community made version of train in cs2 with all the new updated lighting and textures that are available to us in the source 2 engine that being said the map has not changed at all in the functional gameplay only in its looks and textures i know some maps they did complete overhauls of in other maps they just updated them to look new 
I want you guys down in the comments to tell me if you guys want them to change the entire map of train, create something brand new, or if you want it to still be train with the same style and the same look, but just updated into the new Source 2 engine. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's upload, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. It helps me out a ton. And if you guys want to play games on maps such as Cache, Train, and Cobblestone, go ahead and join the Discord. It's linked down below, and I run community events pretty often, or at least try to. <laughs> um, I haven't been successful yet in getting a community event fully up and running, although I have been trying, and I'd love more and more members of the community to come play these older maps in a more casual um and competitive sometimes i get it it's counter-strike we're all going to be competitive right but if you guys would like to play those just go ahead and join the discord i do have a message up in chat if you're watching this the day it came out or the week it came out this weekend i'll be hosting some hide and seek games as well as trying to get some um cash cobble and train games going um so if you guys want that go ahead and join the discord um, other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed the upload, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.